Tens of thousands are still in the dark right now, and it could be days before many of them get their juice again. So that's leaving some wondering who picks which houses come back online first. 24 News 8's Leon Hendricks is live in Byron Center tonight with that story. Leon? Yeah, Brett, good evening. It can be frustrating, as you might imagine. If you don't have power, you can hear the generator behind me. That is what this home is using for power. But consider this. Consumers energy crews are dealing with some unusual conditions for battling power outages. It's extremely cold. It's slippery outside. That's, that's one hazard. And plus, all of their equipment, this is the kind of ice that's on surfaces. Their equipment is covered with this. For most of us, this whole electricity thing is kind of confusing. And when your lights are out, like Miss Nyla Vincent's have been, it can be frustrating, too. These two houses will lose it, but the next one over doesn't. It's a pain under ordinary circumstances, but this week... Cold. ...is not ordinary at all. Probably wouldn't be as bad if Christmas wasn't in two days. But it is, and for now, the estimate is that her lights won't be back on until late evening, the day after Christmas. Because with the kids all coming here and I do a wee bit of bacon and a wee bit of cooking, and that won't get done. Begs the question why Miss Vincent has to wait while others seem to be getting immediate attention. Consumer says it boils down to safety and numbers. Outages that cause obvious hazards get first attention. Then it's the problems that impact the largest number of people. The small clusters typically wait the longest. And Christmas will go on. We'll just have to do it a little different this year. Tonight, Consumers Energy asking for patience with outage numbers remaining in the tens of thousands. It's a lot of people. Lots and lots of people. So that's the way it is. We all wait our turn. Now, a short time ago, we did see Consumers Energy crews making their way into this area. Of course, the people who live here are hoping that that is a sign that the power will be, will be back on sooner than expected. Reporting live in Byron Center tonight, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.